Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to do a quick video um, talking about fractions. Uh, I think I might do a couple in a little bit of a series just for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Um, what I want to start off with right now is uh, the rule for dividing fractions. So some people know the rule. Um, they know if you have two fractions, what you do is you um, multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom number. We'll explain that in a second. So say I had two-thirds, and I wanted to divide that by, I don't know, uh, four-fifths. So I have this fraction. I'm dividing it by this fraction. Well, the rule says that what I do is I take the reciprocal of this number, so I would take the reciprocal being, I take the bottom number and put it where the top is, and I take the top number and put it where the bottom number is, so the reciprocal of that is going to be 5 over 4. So when it comes to dividing fractions, what we do is we take the reciprocal of this number and we just multiply it with this number. So we would go 2 thirds times 5 over 4. And then we continue on with our multiplying. Multiplying says that we multiply these two numbers together and these two numbers together. So what we would have is, we would have on the top 2 times 5, and on the bottom we would have 3 times 4, which would give us 10 over 12. And we can reduce that. We can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2, because see, 2 divides 10, and 2 divides 12. So 10 divided by 2, well that's 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So our final answer would be 5 over 6. And now what's often not really explained is why we use this rule. Why we take the reciprocal and multiply to this number. So I want to explain that a little bit. So whenever we have two fractions that are being divided, so we have, say, some fraction A over B, and that's divided by some other fraction C over D, we always end up multiplying by the reciprocal. So we expect somewhere down the road to have A over B, times, and then the reciprocal of this number, so instead of c over d, we flip that and we go d divided by c, so somewhere down the road in our algebra we would expect to get to this point. How this works is, we have a fraction, um, at any point if we have two numbers we can always multiply by one. So if I multiply by 1 here, I don't change this at all. Anything times 1 is itself. So that's still a over b divided by c over d. But what's interesting is I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is using this 1 to my advantage. So one of the properties of the number 1 is that any number divided by itself makes 1. So for example, 5 divided by 5 is 1. If you have 5 and divide it by 5 on your calculator, you'll always get 1. If I had 2.7136 divided by 2.7136, 
that's always one as well. So we have this property and it works for anything as well if we had letters. So say we had x over y divided by x over y. Because it's the same thing on the top of the fraction and on the bottom of the fraction, that also equals 1. So I want to use that here, and what I want to do is I want to get rid of this C over D on the bottom. So to do that, what I want to do is I want to multiply this denominator by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal we already said was just the number flipped. But the definition of reciprocal is the number, so we have 4 over 5, the reciprocal is the number that is multiplied by that number to make 1, by definition. So in this case, the reciprocal is 5 over 4. If I do that next line down here, so we would have 4 times 5 up here and 4 times 5 over here, following our multiplication. So on the top we would have 4 times 5, on the bottom we would have 5 times 4, which is 20 over 20, which equals 1. So by definition, this is the reciprocal. If we flip the number, it will make it when we multiply it with that number to be 1. So coming down here, I don't really like seeing this c over d on the bottom. I can multiply this fraction, entire fraction, by 1. Well, I know any fraction over a fraction is also equal to 1. What would be useful is if I multiplied by the reciprocal to get 1 on the denominator and get the reciprocal back on top. So what I can do is my next line from here would be a over b on the top divided by c over d and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by d over c and d over c whoops All right, so what does that do for us? Well, we have to multiply this top, or the numerator of this fraction by the numerator of this fraction, and the denominator of this fraction by the denominator of that fraction. So what we have is it looks way more complicated. But we have a over b times d over c. And then on the bottom, we have c over d times d over c. And so, so now this is the reciprocal of that number. So we know the whole bottom here, all of that there, that equals 1 because that's the definition of the reciprocal. Whenever we multiply a number by its reciprocal, what we get is we get 1. When we have a number multiplied by basically the flip of that number, we get 1. So the bottom what we have is 1. We have a over b times d over c divided by 1, because the product of these two numbers is 1. If I wanted to work that out and show you guys, I could go c over d times d over c, that's just this part. Well, that equals, we multiply the top and the bottoms together. So we have c times d, and we have d times c. doesn't matter which order we multiply in, so if we go c times d or d times t, they're the same number. But 
result of that is 1. We have the same number on top as we do on the bottom. So moving back to over here, what we're left with is a over b times d over c. And this was really what I wanted to show, how we get to this rule. So we started out, we had a, a fraction, a over b, divided by c over b. And we wanted to end up showing how it got to here. Explain the rule, why we just take the reciprocal and multiply it by the top fraction. And we do that because if we manipulate this with algebra, we can work our way down to eventually finding that same result. That we have a fraction a over b divided by some other fraction c over d that is the same as a over b times the reciprocal of the denominator, so d over c. And then the easier multiplication rule follows from that. So I hope this helped. Um, hope you enjoyed the explanation. If you'd like more videos like this, let me know. Um, leave a comment, uh, leave a like. Um, Basically, this is just for educational purposes. I'm not looking for um, any big views or anything like that. It's basically just for education, partially just for fun. Um, I like playing around with my bamboo tablet and uh, playing around explaining math stuff. So if there's something that you would really like explained, I can try and explain that for you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, see you next time.